YouTube. Um, coming to you right quick for a little short video. Um, this is my radio equipment. This is my 11 meter uh, radio setup. CB, Citizen Band, Power Mic, Cobra 29. This is a, uh, a um, amp, a bench amp that I built that powers some of my mobiles. Um, built it out of a computer uh, supply unit. Built this little cabinet here to house everything. This is my 11 and 10 meter system, uh, system band CB type radio. But that's not what I'm here to talk to you about today, folks. I'm here to actually talk about the Bofang UV5R. But these are actually the Hofang, Hofang, excuse me, UV5R. Uh, very same thing, the same radio, same people. This one here is brand new, just got it in. Um, I actually ordered this for a buddy of mine who didn't have an eBay account. Um, but uh, it's his, and I guess I'll be taking it to him when we report back to work tomorrow. Um, sorry about the lighting. Uh, this one here is mine. Uh, it's the one I've had for probably two or three weeks. Um, I've programmed a GMRS frequency channel 1 into it. It's got 1 through 15, I believe, I put into it. And the lower frequency, which I'm receiving right now, is a uh, emergency EMS uh, scanner frequency. Uh, I put local police, fire, and rescue type frequencies in there. Works really well as a scanner and transmitter, you know, for two meter. Uh, this one's the one I'm taking to my friend. Um, he's seen mine and he thought, you know, what the heck, he wanted a handheld scanner. He's not a ham operator, but he's not, he says he's not going to be transmitting on it. He just wants it for um scanner fire rescue type frequencies and that's all he's going to use it for now i have programmed in his as well in channel uh zero the uh top frequency there four six two five six two five which you can't really see it's at little bitty five there uh that is the gmrs channel one handheld walkie talkie frequency and I put it in both of them, you know, which mine's got, I think, 14, 15 of them. Channel mode. Um, let's see here. Um, hold on one second two, here. Let me... Three, uh, two, two, zero. 77 a, at Charlotte and 75 at Greensboro. One, that's a one, one, weather one, channel. One, <laughs> one, that's a FRS 14, channel 14 I've put in. But I'm going to be testing these on channel 1. Alright, his has, his has channel 1 in it. That's the only channel I've put in his as a test. Because I don't know that he would be using it. Um, let's key it up. Yep. Audio check. Test. Test. Yep, it's working. Alright. Uh, you have to uh, put your uh, frequency step, you know, your tone, uh, all that. Because some of them have tones you can change in the uh, GMRS and FRS frequencies on the Walmart style type personal band walkie talkies. These can trans transmit to those. The test does work. Um, you can transmit GMRS, FRS frequencies on the Bofang and Bofang UV5Rs. Um, I really enjoy these radios. These are really great radios for the price. The only thing I don't like about the radio when you order it, I ordered mine as a kit, which mine also ordered the extended antenna. This is a N-A-G-O-Y-A. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, 100, let's see if I can get a picture over here. No, I don't look like my camera's going to do it up close. But it's uh, 144 slash uh, 430 megahertz. 
um, and it uh, goes up to 520. The, my radio does go up to 520. Um, I believe this one does too. I'm not sure. Uh, some of them I've seen on eBay list that they don't go to 520. They go to like 480 or so, up as high as 480. So pay attention to that when you go to get these. Yeah, I would recommend getting the one that goes up to 520. Uh, that's what the uh, advertisement said. That's what it says on the radios um, in the back. The antenna, when you screw them out, it, this one here says it, and the, and the stock one as well says it goes up to 520. Um, so pay attention to when you go to, if you go to order these. Some of them say they only go to 480. Some say they'll go as high as 420. I mean, excuse me, 520. Um, but these are the radio of choice. I really do love them. They're, when you hold it, you feel you can feel kind of a quality to it. It's nice lightweight, um, even with the extended antenna and everything, you know, they're lightweight. Uh, they feel durable and rugged. They feel strong. Uh, it's got a nice clicking to the buttons. Uh, the buttons are really good quality rubber and they're firm. Um, it's got the FM uh, radio. They sound good. Uh, that's a gospel station I've put in it. Um, it's got the flashlight on top. Um, right here in the center, there's a little LED on every one of them. Um, I recommend them strongly. Uh, you can't beat it for the price. I think I paid as much as 45, 48 bucks for mine with free shipping. And it came with a package deal. I got the programming cable, the programmable CD, which I can tell you the CD is garbage. It's useless. Throw it away. Use it as a coaster. Sling it up there and shoot it. Whatever you want to do. Um, but don't use it for your radio because it's garbage. Uh, mine was written in Chinese. I'm full-fledged American Southern boy. I don't read Chinese. <laughs> um, I downloaded a program called Chirp on the computer and it's free chirp there's many videos there's videos out there on using chirp with these types of radios i recommend you look at that uh the chirp was very easy to do um they hold up to i think uh, 128 programmable channels uh they got a nice sturdy clip this here is the charger and uh it does well. Um, the only thing good out of my package deal other than the radio itself is the fact that I got the programming cable and I recommend you get the programming cable. It makes programming much easier. For example, when I programmed the uh, frequencies in here for GMRS channel one, walkie talkie, if I go to channel, his just says channel zero zero zero. That's what he. That's what I put his on that channel. Now, if you've got the programming cable, you can program it to where you can put the name of what the channel is, what what's on that channel, uh, like FRS channel fourteen, uh, GMRS channel one. Uh, and I put channel 14 on 14 and GMR's channel 1 on channel 1. Um, that way it's just a little bit easier reference for me. But you can name the channel or what you want it to be there. Without the programming cable and you program the channels, this is what you're going to see. CH channel, you know, whatever channel it is. This is channel 0. Um... I have pro used my programming cable on my buddies here. Uh, this is uh, Myrtle Beach uh, Fire Rescue. That's why it says MB period fire. Um, so you can name the channels and it'll show the name on the screen. So I recommend you get the programming cable. That way it won't just say channel 1 or channel 10 
and not you not know what's on it and how having to carry a list or try to remember what that channel is so i recommend the programming uh, cable sorry that's my i got a three-year-old but um um anyway i just wanted to tell you all that if you're interested in two meter ham this is the radio of choice Yesu, you know, Kenwood, they make good radios, don't get me wrong. But you're talking $150, $200, $300. This here I bought brand new, still in the box, unused, 45 bucks with programming cable and CD, which CD, like I said, CD is useless. This one I got from my buddy, 40 bucks, in the box, never used, brand new, shipped right to my house. All free shipping. I do recommend an extended antenna if you're going to be doing any hiking or camping or traveling. Uh, the extended antenna does come in handy, but I can tell you now the stock antenna does just as does pretty good too. Um, I'm able to hit repeaters in another county from where I'm at just because of this, and, and that's using the stock antenna. So, the next county over, I can hit a repeater with a stock antenna. So, that's not bad. So, just uh, listen to everything I told you. Uh, do your homework before buying. It's good radio. Get you one. You won't be disappointed.